Hi guys, it's Nancy and we are going to make another birthday card. You know you love it. All right, so this is another part of the June 2022 release from Spellbinders. Don't worry, I'll put all the links down in the description for you guys. But I'm telling you guys, if you have not heard the excitement in my voice, I love the birthday theme. Okay, so the stamps are called the Birthday Unboxing Sentiments. And they say, let me put this back here so you can see them. I get the prototype so you guys, I don't get official packaging. Um, I hope your day is filled with all kinds of happy, happy birthday. Oops, I missed your birthday. Time to celebrate. Love, kisses, and birthday wishes. It's not a pony. Hello, happy birthday. Best give ev gift ever. Close your eyes and make a wish. And then these are designed to put if you wanted to do a box on the sides of the box. With love, this side up, handle with care, best gift ever, and then these little, you know, packaging things. Um, so that's the stamp set. I've already used the embossing folder. It is called the Party Spots Embossing Folder. And so we're going to use that as our background. And yes, you guys, this is a large embossing folder. It's five and a half by eight and a half. So we're going to make a pretty big card today, okay? So I have one of those, and then the star of the show today is going to be these Topsy Turvy Cake, okay? I cannot wait to die cut this. I have not cut it out yet. So the pieces that you're going to get are one, two, three, four, five layers of cake. Now, maybe you're not a big card person and maybe you're only wanting to make an A2 size card. So maybe you just use three layers of cake. Maybe you want to do a five by seven card and you use four layers of cake. I'm going to try to use all five layers of cake today. And what you get is you get the bottom portion, which is your cake, and then you get the drop-in to cut out the design of the cake, okay? Now, again, I have not cut this out yet, so I don't know how this is going to work. You also get your icing layer, and then we have our second layer. So we have like Harlequin kind of diamonds down there. Our second layer is going to be fun, colorful circles. Our third layer is going to be stripes. And again, they all have their own icing, so you can do it with or with, uh, without icing. The fourth layer is going to be stars. And the very tippy top layer is going to be circles, little polka dots, okay? You also get with this, so you get the outline, which is the cake. You get the drop-in, which is the design for the cake. You get the icing. You're going to get these kind of um, streamers, which you would put in between the layers of cake to kind of um, like icing, I guess it would be. You're going to get confetti and streamers. So for the confetti, you have... A smaller heart, a larger heart, and two stars, and then you have your streamers here. So lots of fun pieces. So I am going to go and die cut a whole bunch of these out. I have some ooh, paper that I just got. Now this is not Spellbinders paper, but it's glitter paper, and it's kind of ombre. So there's red, green, light blue, dark blue. And I thought, well, this will work to make this a fun glittery cake. We have that fun um, party spots embossing folder background. So I'm going to go and die cut a whole bunch of these. And then we'll come back and we'll see what we're going to assemble here. And I'm thinking we're going to do slimline. I don't know if we're going to do... Yeah, I think slimline would look great if this were a standing tall slimline. But again, you can do 5 by 7 You can do A2. There's a lot of different options here. You don't have to do everything together, but it is nice that we have that um, availability to be able to do that. So I'm going to go die cut everything, you guys, and I'll be back in a jiffy. Okay, guys, I'm back. And as you can see, I've cut out a lot of these little pieces. So I cut out, um, I made a slim line card base, which is uh, eight and a half by three and a half, okay? Then I cut the party spots embossing folder to eight and a quarter by three and a quarter. So that'll be the background. Then I cut the layers of the cake with their drop-ins. So I cut them like this out of each color of shimmer paper. So I have the base layer. So this is how they will layer up. 
okay? Which is beautiful. And then I have the, um, the icing layer, okay? And then these, this is kind of the in-between um, layer. What do you call that? The uh, more icing, right? So I have all those cut and ready to go. However, I don't have the backs of the cards. So I thought, you know what? I don't want to inlay die cut all those so I'm just going to take this yellow card because I think yellow will go with all of these colors and I'm just going to die cut the outsides so I'm going to take the drop-ins out and just die cut all of the outer layer in yellow and that'll be the color that will show through on all of these so it'll be the, the, the backing layer. Is that all of them? One, two, three, four, missing one. One, two, five, missing one. Missing one. I put it away. Oh. It's the largest one, Nance. Okay, I got it. This is what happens when you put things away. I put try to put things away, otherwise they get lost. So, okay, so we have the... Okay, so now I'm going to die cut all of these, and I'll be back. Okay, I also wanted you guys to notice that I kept all the little pieces that were cut out because if you would cut this out of a couple of different um, pieces, then you could do inlay and it would look really pretty. I'm just not wanting to do that right now, but I am going to keep those pieces because some of these we will be able to uh, inlay and, and put together here. So they're just in a little pile here off to the side. Okay, so now that we have all of these pieces cut, let's layer them. Let's glue them together. I'm going to use some fine tipped glue here. And this glue will dry clear. So it's about assembling each piece. And I liked picking out all of these bright, fun colors. I just thought that that really set off. Is this? I think this goes up here. I think it goes like that. We'll come back to that. Because I, you know, birthdays should be fun and colorful and a celebration of you. So or whoever your recipient is. And by doing this, I'm giving a little bit more stability to my die cuts, but also, you know, we have all that fun glitter on top and that yellow is just gonna tie everything together. So this is all pretty easy to do. You don't have to overcomplicate this, but you can if you want to. I'm I'm saying, you know, if you want to spend the time to die cut this in several different colors, it's going to look amazing if you do all these layers and do all of them in different colors, but you don't have to. I 
there's a circle stuck under there. There is a circle stuck under there. Come on, buddy. Okay. All right, so now we have these all done. And we can layer our icing pieces. Okay, so now we have all of our pieces together. So I think when we layer this, I believe this is the bottom of the layer here. So we've already cut them. Let's put them on the cake. And I'm using art glitter glue. I'm using the fine tip. Uh, it dries super fast. This is sure easier than making a real cake. And again, you have all of that kind of funfetti pieces over there. So if you wanted to put any of those back in, you certainly could. Okay, so now we have our cake. We have our layers. And again, you can do a small layer cake. You can do a larger cake. You can do a big cake. So we're going slim line here. I'm going to put some of these little dots back in here that came out of the green part. Pick up two walls. So I'm just poking these center dots out. Come on. Okay, so we have some of those. That looks pretty cool. All right, and I'm going to save those pieces. We can use those for shaker pieces, too. 
And now it's just assembling this. Look at that, fits perfectly. So let me put my A2, or sorry, my slimline card base down. And this is a regular 2D embossing folder, so you don't need to use the 3D platform on this. Lots of fun with the polka dots. So I'm going to a little bit of a white matte border there. And then we're just going to start layering. So start with the biggest layer on the bottom. Perfect fit. Okay. I love these fun, whimsical colors. Whimsical cake, whimsical colors. Wait, hold that down. Okay, now we do have streamers and confetti we can cut out and put on there. I'm actually going to grab the glimmer um, candles. I'm going to put a glimmer candle on there, so I'm not going to do that right now. But let's grab the sentiments and stamp out a sentiment and have that ready to go. So, so far we use the Party Spots embossing folder. We have used the Topsy Turvy Cake, and we're gonna use the Birthday Unboxing Sentiments. And I'm gonna use this Happy Birthday. I love the scripty font, and it has a die the die comes from the glimmer set. So if you have the glimmer set, you'll get the matching die for this. And let's stamp this out. And I like that lime green. So what do we have here? We have Lime Ricky from Catherine Pooler. Okay, too much ink on one side, not enough on the other side. Let's try that again. You definitely tell that I re-inked this recently. <laughs> okay, I'm trying not to press down. You just want to tap, 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 tap. Okay, we're going to give those a minute to dry. And let me show you what I mean by the glimmer. There is a glimmer plate that has the candles, and you can glimmer a candle and die cut it out. my 
glimmer machine on. So there's this glimmer plate and then there's the cutout dies. Now, if you miss the new glimmer plate, oh, it's so beautiful. This is called the So Many Candles glimmer plate. Um, this is a larger candle. So we're gonna do this guy, which is going to fit perfectly on there. So this is part of the new release as well. Check out my video on that. But for this one, we're gonna use this older candles glimmer paint we're gonna rainbow glimmer some candles here and then we'll cut we'll cut some out so let me grab my rainbow foil Okay, and since I don't like how this stamped, I'm just going to use the back of this and I'll re-stamp it in a different color. Okay, so we're going to let that warm up. We will die cut that in just a moment. My little confetti's flying all over the table here. Let's re-stamp our sentiment to something we're going to enjoy a little better. And the, the glimmer plates, if you don't have those, they're called the birthday unboxing glimmer plates. A lot of the same sentiments that are in the stamp set. I show that in the um, in the glimmer candle birthday uh, card, so you can see those. But this matches up with this perfectly. So we're gonna stamp this out. Versifying Claire in Nocturne. Perfect. And then we have our sentiments that can go on the inside as well. So let's do that. I hope your day is filled with all kinds of happy. Perfect. cut out this happy birthday glimmer is all ready to go turning the timer on
Again, this die comes with the glimmer sentiments. It does not come with the stamps. So if you get this, the um, the un, uh, glimmer boxing, birthday unboxing, or you get the birthday unboxing from the stamps, there are some similar sentiments in there, but they're not all going to, um, they're not exactly the same between the glimmer and the stamp set, but this die does match the glimmer and the stamp set. Okay, our glimmer is done. We're gonna pull this piece of washi tape off of here. Okay, now we have our sentiment. So now we just need to glimmer our candle and cut that out and we can finish off this card. Beautiful candles. I'm gonna grab our little die here. Pick a fun candle. This one looks good. Perfect. All right, I'm going to put a sliver of foam tape behind this. What a fun, fun cake. What a fun card. Whoops, that would have been fun. Put it upside down. Okay, so again, all of these products are brand new over at Spellbinders. Please consider using my affiliate links down in the description. It does not cost you anything extra. I do get a small commission from Spellbinders. And again, I will link the description box um, with all of the products for you guys. We use the... Um, party Spots embossing folder for the background. 
We use the birthday unboxing sentiments. We use the topsy turvy cake, and we also brought in the smaller glimmer candles with the die, and we use the die from the birthday unboxing glimmer plates to cut that out. And again, I will link for you guys if you didn't catch the other video. I made these two cards using the new So Many Candles glimmer plate. So if you are into foiling, you can definitely check those out. This card was more or less die cutting, not as much foiling, but I think that candle really sets it off. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Are you interested in this topsy-turvy cake? If you had fun watching this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel and turn on the bell so that you get notifications when I post new videos. So here you go. It's made out of glitter. It's a lot of fun. And I am very happy with it. Check out all the other new release videos as well under my Spellbinders playlist. Thanks for watching, guys. And keep on stamping. Bye.